There's nothing like a guy blowing up on you to focus your attention. Sounds like the tagline for a Bukaki video. Farley's murder coming the day after Jordan's show me what happened to people who knew too much. I had to determine whether Burton, Magnata, or Falconetti was really the Ripper, and quick. I don't want to miss 24 tonight. I had to find out what the hell Catherine had been up to. The fact that the Ripper could kill via cyberspace over time and distance meant that I had to crack this nut or I was a dead man. First, though, I had to keep my ass out of jail. Actually, no, wait a minute. First thing I should do is hose the chunks of Farley off my coat. Get off the table. What's this all about? It's about catching a killer. Seems like he's been under my nose all along. <laughs> you really are crazy. Well, not really. I mean, he did catch you red-handed and red-faced and, well, basically wearing Farley. I want to know how you did it. How you killed them. What are you high on, Magnata? I want to know how you oh. did it. <sighs> ah, shit! I'm gonna fucking have your badge for this. I know all about pressure points. You better talk, Quinlan, or I'll pull my own finger off. I swear to God I'll do it. Not that I give a damn, whether I mark you up or not. Uh, do I have the right to an attorney, or... Oh, you are fucking losing it, Magnata. And when I run this story, everybody's gonna start thinking that you're the Ripper. You're the one. You're the one. Getting mystery messages from the Ripper. You're the one. <laughs> With power when she's attacked. You're the last person Stephanie Jordan contacts. You're with Farley when he's killed. How come the Ripper communicates only with you? I'm a writer, asshole. If you ask me, it looks like the Ripper's a sick fuck of a muckraker who can't tell the difference between a pen and a blade. One cuts checks, the other cuts cheese. When I told you that before Farley was killed, he told me that the weapon is in cyberspace. That means that the killer could rip you apart and be sipping coffee in a cafe a thousand miles away. You dirty. How are you going to explain this, Magnata? By threatening people. Huh? See? <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what in the hell? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, dude. Clearly you're not the Ripper. I don't know how I could have mistaken you for a knife-wielding psychopath. Self-defense, man. I mean, why'd you hit me, Quinlan? What, are you stupid? Hitting a cop? With a knife while handcuffed? I'm going to smear you all over the front page tomorrow, you sick! fucking bastard. Now let me out of here. You got nothing on me, or you'd arrest me by now. <laughs> Actually, they got about 60 pounds of Farley on him. You can walk. Wait, what? For now. But I'm on to you. You hear me? You're crazy. I'm gonna hear you confess before this is over. It's a matter of time. Now get out of here. Don't trip. I'm way out. Wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. Yeah, good advice coming from the guy who just maimed himself for no reason with a Klingon war knife. After Magnata laid me low, I decided to stay there for a while. Stay where? After a few days, it became clear that he didn't have enough to arrest me. Plus, I could move my jaw again. I decided to go see Covington Wofford. Oh, that's good, because I was just thinking to myself, we haven't shamed Burgess Meredith nearly enough yet. Hello? Mr. Wofford! He's out back chasing a chicken. Mr. Wofford? Speed! Speed! Rock! Get the chicken! It's me! Mr. Wool from the Tenth Kingdom? Jay Quinlan! Hang on, just gotta adjust a little ripper here. Hey, wow, a gun. Wonder how long I've had that. Lights! Help! Help! Don't move! Help! I said don't move! Are you hurt, Mr. Wofford? Hey! 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 My God, I'm... Yeah, I did. Not quite, old time. It's only a matter of time, I'm telling you. Hey, where, where are you going? <laughs> Probably just a shoulder wound. Object scanned into database. Yeah, you can't see it now, but the swirly blue thing also analyzes DNA. Oh, God. Now we've got a wounded animal on our hands. That's it for me, I tell you. I'm not waiting to be killed. I'm getting the hell out of this game. Screw you guys. Hamilton stored an AI of himself on this disc. <laughs> it might hold some clue about who killed him. Yeah, who killed him. And I'll upload him into our well. You know the address. www.orvilredenbacher.com Me! 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 Bring the hell out of this city.
I'm just going to go change my adult diaper, fire my agent, and leave! So it never occurs to Quinlan to, you know, follow the guy dressed like the Ripper that he just shot, leaking a very clear trail of blood. I don't know, but uh, you get an email from Gambit Nelson saying that there is something that he just unlocked in Falconetti's well, some kind of journal that I should take a look at. But there are actually a ton of new locations opened up on my map that I can go check out, and one that catches my eye is uh, Magnata's apartment, which I simply have to see. Of course, the door is locked, but right next to the door, there appears to be some kind of fuse box. And there are also a bunch of numbers there in sequence, and there's a number off to the upper right corner. And in a pure guess that uh, actually seemed to work, I simply divided all of the numbers in the center by the number in the upper right. And what do you know, it worked. So I wish I could take credit for being really smart, I just took a guess. <laughs> ah, good evening, and welcome to my humble abode. Can I offer you a glass of fine champagne? Yeah, that was rough. Sorry. If you think doing walk-in is hard, try doing walk-in doing a Frenchman. <laughs> Let's see. We got uh, beer bottles, pizza, porno mags, and a Game Boy DS. Hey, wait. This is my room. Ah, oh, jeez. Will you look at this? Even he's got a phone with a swirly blue thing on it. I mean, what is this? God damn it. You know what? I'm just going to wait for the 4G edition of this phone, and then I'll have all the options I could possibly want. I always hate it when a progress bar fills up multiple times. I mean, what the fuck is the point of it filling up if it's not going to be at 100%, you know? Oh, I hear next week they're going to lose exclusivity with Transnet, and maybe I, when I get my 4G version of the phone, I could get it on Verizon. Okay, I admit I may not fully want to know the answer to this, but who the fuck is Clarence, and why does Walken have a glowing pink neon sign of his name in his room? And, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that device in the left is an Orgasmatron. Okay, well, I got a bunch of stuff- Oh, god damn it! As I was saying, I had a bunch of stuff on the internet to check out, so I thought I'd go to the newsroom and do that. But, uh, now I got an email. Incoming WAC transmission. Source unknown. Dear boss, how I long to see your face when he's... Blubber Blue. <laughs> I, I do have a sense of humor, you know. For instance, there was... Oh, wait, jeez, oh, I'm sorry. Can I call you back? I've got another call. Oh, you readers, that I can strike anyone at any time. No one is safe. Oh, and thanks a buttload for shooting me in the arm, you dick. I mean, seriously, what is your deal, man? I was just going to kill that Orville Redenbacher guy. I mean, jeez. Incoming surveillance transmission. Hey, pal. Still playing games? I can't believe you got the balls to show up here. I want you to leave Burton out of this. Whatever crazy shit you got planned, this is between you and me. It's cool the bug I put in his cigar box provides multiple camera angles. I'm not the one bringing her the bodies. She's the best at what she does. I am a professional. You want to kill somebody, try me. I'd love to. Love to. But I already spent two fucking years in jail because of you and I'm not going back. Even if it would be on such pleasant terms. No. Uh, I'm gonna nail you, Joey. Fuck you! The only thing you're gonna nail is your own coffin. Well, that's just like oh, your fish. opinion, man. You talk to that reporter, so help me. I will kill you! I'll be waiting. Bring your best shot. Why, if I had a knife, I'd cut myself a chew. He starts sitting outside with Coke bottles on his fingers, going, Walk in, come out to play! Okay, eventually, finally, you get back on the internet and go back to Falconetti's well and find this hidden book of his, which has a whole bunch of stuff in it, like knives, a letter from the Ripper, and there's a hidden page in the back that has this big, long uh, index of books. And it has key titles, which is blank on the right. And if you don't know what to do here, it's really confusing, but what you can do is click and drag titles from the left and put them over to the right. And this is a puzzle. And even being able to identify the fact that this is a puzzle is probably one of the hardest things to understand in the entire game. Because the first thing is, well, okay, you figured out this is a puzzle, but what could possibly be the solution? Like, where would you 
ever think to look for this thing. And actually, the solution to the puzzle is the letter from the Ripper in the very beginning of this book. So if you flip back to the beginning, you'll see this letter. If I keep going back. And for instance, it says, I keep hearing the police have caught me, but they won't fix me just yet. So if you go back to the list of books... You'll see that, luckily, the top book is one called The VR Living Complete Book of Home Repair. And somehow you're supposed to be able to translate the fact that the words, uh, they won't fix me just yet, translates to the complete book of home repair, because the word fixes in it, I guess. And so you kind of have to go through the entire letter, flipping back and forth constantly, trying to figure out what each sentence translates to in terms of book titles. And... The other trick is that there are actually more books than there are open slots, and some of them are pretty close. And so, even if you've finished this puzzle and you get it wrong, it's virtually impossible to tell which title that you actually have gotten wrong, so you probably just have to start over again. It's really, really an annoying puzzle. And yes, I did actually have to look online for the solution to this, because I had one title wrong. Once you've done all that, the book turns into a magical spinning digital LP that you collect, and you can only look at it once you've gotten out of the internet, and I have a bunch more business to do here, so I guess we'll see what it is later. I've got to go to this place and see the artificial intelligence that Burgess Meredith was talking about. <laughs> rock! Rock! You will go to the Dagobah system, Rock! Oh, damn time! You activated me, you timid old bastard. That eccentric client I had. I think it was the Ripper Covington. And I made this AI to help you deal with that son of a bitch. You know, given that Rocky IV actually did have that damn talking seven-foot robot, I'm a little surprised they didn't have Mick return as a hologram. Tell me about this lunatic client of mine. (laughs) He only contacted me in cyberspace. Sometimes he appeared as a man, and sometimes as a woman. So the Ripper is Eddie Izzard? (laughs) Tell me about this model cityscape you got here. Yes, he wanted me to build Whitechapel, as it was 152 years ago. You didn't bother asking him what he planned to do with it? You didn't know what happened in Whitechapel in 1888? It was a challenge, and soon after I completed it, I read about that Mendler fella in the Bowery, and I knew, I knew it was him. I knew he had struck. Sure, he's a programmer. I doubt Burgess could program an alarm clock. Any idea who killed you? Well, he had a different image every time I saw him. He could have walked right up to me in the street and put a bullet in my head. And maybe that's what he did, eh? Huh? Huh? There's something as important to him as white shot, white shot. He must have kept a close watch on you. And watch? He helped me build the damn thing. Okay, can we stop trying to pretend that this case has anything to do with the historical Jack the Ripper? Because it doesn't. How can I kill the Ripper? Well, there is a way, Covington. A gun might do it. When I realized what that crazy bastard was planning to do, I made a weapon. A weapon. It's designed to flatline the cad while he is in cyberspace. Where is it? Where is it? No, give me the weapon. Me How's, the it weapon. How's it work? What's it do? What's it do? Uh, well, I sold it. Well, the weapon looks like a shuriken made of pure energy. And you would have to confront him in Whitechapel. Get close to him and throw it at his heart. And when you hit him with a shot, it'll overwrite the data. Well, it's basically like the glaive from Krull. Did you ever see Krull? I don't stick around here to admire your work, though, because it will overwrite Whitechapel as well. And if you're still there, still there when that happens, you'll die with him. Don't worry, old-timer. His feet do your stuff once I nail the Well, now, there are two other things that you 
should know. Well, the first thing is I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. And the second thing is I'm basically bat squeak insane. And you can use it one time. And one time only. In other words, I hit my target. My target. Or my target hits me. And the other problem is obtaining... Obtaining the weapon. I divided the weapon into three modules. Why? And laid each one inside a secret well. Now, the addresses are Pegasus, Orestes, and Odysseus. Now write them down for God's sake, and when you get to Whitechapel, you'll need to find the software integrator to activate the weapon, huh? Now you might want to have your fortune told, uh-huh, uh-huh. Why did you hide the one thing that could kill the fucking Ripper, you insane old man? Well, make it easy for you, Covington. I used some old systems that you made back when you was still working. And you should know, you should know, how to turn them off. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm a ghost, but somehow I crap myself. I'm not your brother, Wobbler. Are you programmed to recognize that? My name is Jake Quinlan. You must also answer three riddles. All right, all right. don't recognize me. Guess I'm coming to Wofford for now. Okay, so now I'm going to check out what that disc was I found in Eddie's Well in that Ripper book. The stage is set. The roles are cast for the next game of Ripper. Let the mystery begin. Feeling brave tonight? These will be my last game master notes for Ripper. Magnata, Claire, Mendler, Stephanie Jordan, Estavez, Josie Dorset, and myself were playing. This is the final game. Hey! Everybody, I'm gonna grab a Mountain Dew! Does anyone want one? It's on near free. If I don't find me a top soon, I'll be on my feet all night. Be careful, Marie Kelly. The Ripper is still at large. It's been three weeks since he struck. Doc any heard that he killed himself. They pulled a body from the Thames. Cut his own throat, he did. Believe that if you want. I'm going to Spiderfields. Find a pub, a little rum. Is she going to the tavern? Because if there's wenches there, I want to do them! The night is too cold for a lady. You're looking for a go then, are you? You a goer? What's in your bag? Something you won't like. <laughs> no! <laughs> it must have been a Dane Cook CD. Without warning, the simulation had become reality. And the death was real. I've lost her. She's flatlining. Who was playing Mary Kelly? It's Josie. She and I switched. Who are you? It's me, Claire. No! Who the fuck did this? How did this happen? How could this have happened? So what, she didn't get a saving throw? We never learned the answer to that question. The Ripper had claimed his hunting ground. And now those who played that game must live in fear when the Ripper will next strike. The bugles are stuck in the machine! So now you have to start collecting weapon components, and the first one is also the most diabolically evil fucking puzzle in the entire game, and I've probably said that already, but whatever, I mean it this time. This is a chess puzzle, sort of, but not really, in that the basic objective is to capture your opponent's king, and believe me, that is far easier said than done. And that's for a couple reasons, but the main reason is that the computer fucking cheats. And the reason for that is, you have pawns and knights. Your pawns can move forward and diagonally one space, while your knights can move in any direction one or two spaces. However, at the beginning of the game, your knights are completely frozen until all of your pawns have been killed. However, at the beginning of the game, all of the computer's pieces can move freely. So the only way to activate your knights is to purposefully try to get your pawns killed as quickly as possible, and indeed this is the correct strategy. However, the computer seems to know this, and purposefully goes out of its way not to kill your pieces, because it makes a beeline straight for your king. This means the computer has way more options because it starts with five pieces to your three, 
and it doesn't have to waste its time with pieces it can't use. So, for instance, if you have a pawn strand on the far side of the board and it's your only one, that's the only one you can move, while it has two other pieces that it can freely use to go right for your king. It sucks. And I believe me, I know it doesn't look that hard, but it is. I must have played this game 30 or 40 times before I actually managed to beat it fair. And I did have a cheat code, but I didn't use it because I, it got, this game made it personal at some point. You know, I really had to beat this game fair, mano a mano. It was like Kasparov and Deep Blue at some point, you know? I was really focused on this, and I played it until I beat it, and I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> I sure hope you actually took Burgess Meredith's advice and wrote down those three keywords, because believe me, if you forgot, he will not remind you. You'd be officially up shit creek, so that was Pegasus, and the next one is, I believe, either uh, Odysseus or Orestes. Yeah, not that easy to remember. So this is one of the 12 or so sites on the entire internet, huh? Okay, that makes sense. Isn't this how the last Nightmare on Elm Street movie ended? All of a sudden I feel like I'm playing Quake. Suddenly you find yourself face to face with a deadly man scorpion. My dear sweet brother Loompsy! Oh, gee, I wonder where I should shoot him. I mean, this could take all of my accumulated gamer skills over the years. Oh, jeez, could it be, uh, the giant glowing blue fuck-me light on his forehead? No. Could not possibly be. I guess after the hardest nuts chess puzzle they just hit me with, they might as well throw me a softball on the next shooter sequence, huh? I don't know, I just figure if I were a programmer or a computer security expert of some kind and I were trying to keep out youthful computer hackers with good twitch reflexes from my sensitive computer files, I might install a security system a little different than, say, a first-person rail shooter, you know? No, Sewer Shark flashbacks! The T-1000 endymetic polyalloy. Oh no, it's Blob from Phantasmagoria 2 and she's back from hell! Well, I guess this is what happened to Splinter when he fell into more of that radioactive ooze. Yeah, this is pretty much all I see when I look at Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Is that weird? <laughs> what is with that music? Do I have to kill the band rat now? <laughs> Round and round, da, 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 we love a way, just give it time. 